Chow, Chin Chow, Santa Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Royal Version Trial Run. In the last episode, we went round the mainland a bit more and we caught a bunch more Rift Pokemon and Temporal Mons. In today's episode, we're going to be going for the final uh, Mons that we can find and we're also going to be... Uh, going in the final temporal mon we can find and we're going to be evolving all the temporal mons and of course also uh, getting our final few rift pokemon and seeing if there's anything to do after we get all the rift pokemon maybe this is how you get all the other temple all the other temporal hoeing starters because we have temporal mus uh mudkip I would like to know if uh, Trico and uh, Torchic are also available for me to grab, or if I lost my chance at those at the starter. So maybe uh, uh, I have those. Uh, basically, what has happened in between episodes is I have to I had to update my game again. I am on now on three point. I am now on version one point three point two. Yes. Not complicated tile, I know, but thanks to Jordan, I found out I was on the wrong beta again. <laughs> and and uh, now we have fixed this problem and I'm on the right beta. The link down to the Relic Castle notes in the description below is what you need, uh, you know, is what you need to constantly check. And I, I forget to check it like all the time. That is uh, what I do. I constantly forget to check the, the Relic Castle. I'm checking the Discord like all the time because I'm connected to the Discord, but like I'm not checking the Relic Castle link. Which seems to be the one that's updated a lot more. I need to buy more repels. Before we actually start this, I need to buy more repels. So I'll buy another 26 repels to, to add to my six that I already have. And let's go rift hunting once again. So the first rift I know is in Telnortown. It is in here in Terratown. And it's in the Reggie Ch It's in Willow's Cave. It's not near the Reggie's. It is actually near the exit to the cave. I'll show you. I'll show you where it is. So we're going into the cave from Terra Town here. And then we go up here on my inflatable. Down this uh, down this ladder here. And around to down this ladder here. And then we want to smash this rock here. And we want to head over here. And there it is. And here's Zygarde. So there we go, that's Zygarde. That's cool. And... The next one we need to find is in the Team Rocket... Uh, well, sorry, the Teen Knight Tower. I just need to get out of the cave so I can activate my teleporter pad. So, in the in the Jeweled Desert, there's the uh, Teen Knight base. And in that base is a rift. So let's go and see what's there.
Now, Jordan did tell me that Zygarde was uh, where Zygarde was. Uh, but And Jordan has told me that, that, uh, where these other two rifts are that we haven't found yet. But he hasn't told me what's in them, so this is gonna be this is 100% new to me. So it's gonna be fun. Uh, let's see what we got. Here we are. So this is the main. This is the first room of the Team Night Base at the bottom of the Dual Desert. It's Genesect! Cool. I was thinking that Genesect would be in the uh, in the fossil research lab. Yeah, you know, because technically, you know, according to Genesect's origins, it's something to it shares a common ancestor with uh, Kabuto. So there we go, that is that one. And the final uh, Rift Pokemon we need is also where the final Temporal Pokemon that we need is as well. And that is here at the Fullwood Church. So let's go there and go and get this. Oh, I forgot that start is the A Star button. Start is to confirm. I'm bad at remembering start is confirmed, so that means start is the thing I need to use to press this new spray repel. To spray repel, I need to press start, not, you know, A, because A cancels. So, here we are at the forward church. Now, that's where the church is, but if you go to the side here, if you go to each side, on this side, there's a rift. Who is here? Darkrai is here! I mean, of course, death and destruction, Darkrai is here. Makes sense. There we go, we have Darkrai. And then to the other side is a temporal one. That actually looks pretty cool, don't you think? Is that Gogo? -Go? No, it's a mud bray. It's a ghost mud bray. Interesting. Level 35 too, so I need to get Rocker in here. Because Rocker can go for the false swipe. It's a good, you know. It's not going to kill me, so false swipe is the way. Hopefully. Famous last words. Okay, so it has speed boost, which is inter uh, quite interesting. Now I need to go into criminal to paralyze it. There we go, paralyzed. Take the bite. And now we can throw an Ultra Ball at this thing. Because it shouldn't be a pest. There we go! So we have now got a Temporal Mudbray. 
and we've done all the riffs. So, I guess let's go to back to Imperial City and go and see what Professor Christmas uh, thinks about this temporal mud bray. That mud bray is spooky. Have you heard of the uh, four horses of the apocalypse? I've heard of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and they, I guess they rode horses, so I'm guessing there would be four horses of the apocalypse as well. There were four horses and riders related to death itself. This mud bray seems to fit the description of one of those horses. I wonder uh, what the others were. Thank you, uh, Joe. Uh, come back when you discovered more temporal mons. Cool. There's another form of Volpex? How interesting! Oh, I totally forgot about this. I wonder if uh, this comes uh, from Alola or Kanto. Uh, oh. It does uh, seem... It does look like it's... Uh, uh, scheming f something through, though. I keep an eye on this one. Okay, we didn't. I didn't find out about Temporal Volpex even in the last episode. I didn't talk to him about Temporal Volpex. Okay, so that is all the Temporal Mons. Now, before we go and evolve all the Temporal Mons, let's head back to Venom City and the and get on the boat because I wanted to see. If there's any other mon, if there's anything else to do with this uh, rift thing in the uh, tower in Sunset City, you know the old mansion, yeah. So here we are back at the old mansion in uh, Sunset City. Where the, we found uh, the the triangle, there are no rifts in the Iron Rivers. There are no rifts in the Kronos region, but there has a, a rift has appeared. So after you collect all the rifts, whether you kill all the Pokémon or whether you catch them all, another rift appears. And here's Arceus! There we go! Arceus, the literal god of all Pokémon, is here! Rifts have been closed. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is what happens when you catch all the Rift Pokemon. A new Rift appears and Doc and uh, the God of Pokemon appears, Arceus. So if, uh, if you look at the box 22 here, we have Zygarde, Genesect, Darkrai, Mudbray, Arceus, all of these Pokemon are things that we've collected over time. Here's all the uh, island Pokemon. So we collected all those too, that's, that's quite awesome that we have all of these Pokemon now. So that is, that is really awesome. We've almost completed the game, really. I guess now that I have all these, can we go and talk to Professor Birch and see if he's going to give me the other Pokemon? Is this how I get them? Because otherwise I might have to do like an update video. On uh, like how I might have to do another bonus video. <laughs> 
on how to get all the temporal starters, because I don't have them yet. Joe, you closed all the rifts. That's fantastic. I'm so pleased to hear that no one will randomly be pulled through time again. To so sow my thanks, why don't you go ahead and take the other two temporal mons I offered you at the start of your journey. I've studied them uh, as much as I can knowing Pokemon, and I want you to explore the world with them. Hey, Joe, take Trico. There we go. And we have a Trico and we have Torchic as well. Now I think uh, the forests that Trico live uh, have uh, in, in have become polluted and more like a toxic swamp. And I believe the heat inside Torchic has been cooled and uh, caused it to become solid rock. Thank you for everything, Joe. I'll see you around. Let me know if you find any more temporal Pokemon on the, po uh, on the Kronos Islands. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have all of the temporal Mons now. The only thing left to do is to evolve them. So there's temporal Torchic. And Temporal Trico. And now all we gotta do is evolve all these mons. Temporal Depider, Temporal uh, Yama, Temporal uh, Oshuat. Uh, temporal Fennekin, Temporal Volpex. Uh, there's another burrow, isn't there? Yeah, Temporal Weedle is here as well. And also Temporal Mudkip. Okay, so I guess we'll start with Temporal... Let's... So let's start evolving these uh, Pokemon. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to... Okay, we're gonna put... We're gonna put five Pokemon on the team. We're gonna go and challenge uh, our... We're gonna go and challenge one of the uh, gym leaders that we haven't challenged yet. Uh, no, one of the gym leaders we've challenged and we'll, we'll see where things go from there. So, in box two... We'll put all these Pokemon. And then we'll pick up Temple of the Pider as well. And Temporal Flaps. So we have uh, Mudkip, Chico, and Torchic. We have the Pider, and we have our. Uh, Yammer, Oshawott, and uh, Wulu, and the other ones will have to uh, wait on evolving at this moment in time. So I'll put them all in box 20. I'll put the ones that we haven't done yet in box 20. So there's uh, Volpex. We have got Wulu in there too. Fennekin as well. Uh, where is my best Oshawas? And there's my Weedle. Bulbasaur, that's my Bulbasaur. Okay. Uh, 
And with that in mind, let's now go back to Vortex Town. Uh, we're in Vortex Town, so let's head back to the uh, Astro Castle. Let's switch on the XP share. And let's fly. Well, teleport, I say. Uh, back to the Astro Castle where we'll deal with one of the trainer. Uh, we'll deal with the fighting girl because I am able to beat her rather nicely. So, so let me get the keyboard out because I need to press the super speed button here. Because this will be quick if we do it this way. All right, so Polyrath, meet your doom because I'm going to destroy you. Torture goes to level six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sand attack, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What's still in headbutt? She'll get rid of Growl. Doesn't really matter what I get rid of. Now you're learning Rock Tomb. She'll get rid of Scratch. Now you're learning Quick Attack. But wow, you'd almost be a... You'd almost... I just killed one mod and this thing is or all these things are already leveling up to all these uh, to these awesome levels. No, I don't want bite. No one wants bite. Bite is a sucky move. I will admit, I hope these guys don't evolve too much, because if they evolve too much, then they're probably not going to be able to evolve into their final ones. That is my one problem with this plan. Because they only evolve, you can only evolve once per battle. And he will have, they will have to go to their middle stage. We have gained a lot of levels on this. We gained like 26 levels. I mean, I guess once they... S George should go to level 26, uh, 28 once then Rock Blast. You'll get rid of Rollout. Sure, learn Protect over Growl. Uh, Mudkip is also grown to level 30. Trico is also grown to level 30 and wants to learn Slam. I shouldn't have to worry about that, actually. Yeah, I shouldn't have to worry about them fully evolve. Max, we really get into level 100 and not being able to fully evolve. Blaziken coming in. Just pound on these guys with Boom Burst. That's all I need to do and everything's fine. No, I don't want to let detect. It's another sucky move. We go. 
Talk shit goes to that we'll see. 37. And what's the slash? Mudkip wants to learn takedown. I said no. Flaps is growing to level 76. So Flaps is, uh, can finally evolve. The Pider has not grown a level yet. And now Torchic has Sludge Bomb. And this is the final Monoverse. And that's where we spam out. And that's where we go for the Outrage. It lives one, but it won't live two. And we're able to live a close combat. Torchic goes to level 39. 39 for Mad Kips. Future finally grows to level. Uh, Fortune grows to level. I'm getting five evolutions from this one episode. Uh, from this one battle. There we go. There's Combuskin. And there is Mad Kips evolving. There is a Quillet. There is Yamega. And there is Grovile. So... Let's take a look at these things then. So there is Combuskin. There is Fortune, a psychic bug type. There is Magkips. There is uh, our Yamega, bug dragon type. And there is our Grovile. So now you're fully evolved, you don't need to be in the party anymore. And same with the Pider here. Which is now an Aquilid. So let's bring Lover What out. And we'll bring Wulu out too. And then we'll heal up and we'll go and face her again. Uh, actually, no, wait. No, we'll face Ken this time. We'll face Ken this time, and then we'll see what happens there. We beat Maggie. Let's beat Ken. Kabuskin is still 40. Kabuskin will evolve. Same with Magkips. Same with Grovile. Wooloo is growing levels. Wants to learn Double Kick. Sure, you can learn Double Kick. Uh, get rid of Brock Posh. I don't remember when, uh, what level Wulu evolves, because I actually haven't, I've been so busy shiny hunting Wulu, but I actually don't know, I haven't actually caught an actual Wulu yet. So I have no idea when this thing evolves into its evolution. Kips does not need to learn takedown. It's a sucky move. Wooloo joins level 26, level 27, level 28. Wants to learn Acceler Rock. That's the move that Lycan Rock has, which is awesome. Hiriyama. Down goes Hiriyama. 43 for all... Uh, for a lot of Pokemon. 30 for Wooloo. Infernic coming in. I live a stone edge, but somehow you're faster than me. I don't know how that happened. Doesn't really matter though. We don't need to revert reverse, so it's a sucky move. And I will not change Pokemon. Furlix is coming in. And Furlix is dead. And 
and this is basically what I've been doing to get money uh, to gain to grind money up. Now we're learning Rock Tomb. I will get rid of uh, roll out for Rock Tomb. Chestnut down. No, I don't need to learn Mirror Move. Thank you very much, game. So many levels. And there is there's Blaziken. And here comes Swampert. And here comes Sceptile. Oshawa is also evolving into Samba, what? And Wulu is evolving into Dewol. Really wants to learn Reversal. Alright, fine, you can learn Reversal over Double Kick. So let's take a look at these things then. So that's Blaziken. It becomes Rock Fighting. Uh, Mudkip is now... Uh, it's like Swampert is a Electric Ground type. Sceptile is a, a Poison Dragon type. Over what is still Fairy. The what is a full Rock type now. No, the what is a full Rock type now. Now I don't need repels anymore. Okay, so now that we have these, I guess we can put Blaziken in the box. We can put Mag we can put Magkips away. And we can put you away as well. I really do like Temporal Sceptile though. I really that looks amazing. And now we need to bring out Volpex. We need to bring out all these Pokemon and see what they evolve into. Does Fennekin have a new ability? Because I don't think I've seen Wizardry. That's, that's new to me. Raises special attack stat. Hmm, okay. So that's a new ability. That's a very new ability to me. I've never heard of Wizardry before. Now, before we get on to leveling up all these Pokemon, let's head back to Venom City. Because Volpex, if I remember correctly, evolves by an Icy Stone into Alone. Alone Volpex evolves into a uh, Ninetales by an Icy Stone. And nine, regular Ninetales evolves by a um, Fire Stone. So if I buy a Water Stone from you... for the PP up rocker. So if I buy a water stone, does that mean you evolve by the water stone? You do! Okay. Let's see Ninetales. There we go. That is Ninetales. Looks beautiful. this thing. Water Dark type. As Snarl, Grudge, uh, Hydro Pump and Captivate. Beautiful. Alright, so let's get back to the Astro Castle and let's uh, finally finish off evolving all these mons. 
Uh, but before we do that, let's heal up. And let's face Maggie again. I know it's... I know it's... It's repetitive, but like... Maggie, I know... Like, Maggie's team, I know how to beat, and I'm good at it. I guess we can also face uh, the Dark-type trainer as well, because that would also work. Ninetales goes to level 51. Baker goes to level 56. Ninetales goes to 52. Blazer can come in. Anything I can one-shot with... Wow! You lived this time! That is not re that does not usually happen. I mean, I have moves to uh, sort that situation out, but damn, wasn't affecting, wasn't expecting you to live. Oh wait, you! God damn it, Joe! This thing is soundproof. No, 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 no. You don't set up on me. You die now. I got a crit. Okay. Let's see Sam or what? Again, beautiful Pokemon. We're getting a... Um, we're getting a Kakuna. There is Blixen. Ghost James is evolving too. There is Ivysaur. Let's heal up. Let's access the pause menu and show off our new so we got Samawat here, pure fairy type, modest nature, there's its stats, it has play rough, sword stats, retaliate, and moon blast. Then we have Kakuna here, which is sand tomb, leech life, earth power, and u-turn, level 76 with arena trap. Uh, Brixen here is level 58, has psychic hail, magic room, and blizzard. Ghost James is level 76 with Sludge, Poison Gas, Sludge Bomb, and Shadow Ball. And we've already seen Ninetales, so we don't need to look at Ninetales. So, I guess we'll face our, uh, our aunt here, Magana. And, uh, battle. And, uh, see if we can beat her Dark Types. Which we should be able to beat our dark types, and that should fingers crossed that should be enough for us to get uh, all the other mons to evolve too. There we go, Brixen has evolved, so we have we definitely will be getting a I need to heal I was at full health well I'm dead uh, love what you come out here please Okay, I was expecting you to do better than that when you, uh, when it comes to living, but you sadly didn't. You got a 
crit there. Not okay with that, but... I need to get... Wait, I have Revival Herb. What am I doing? I have Revival Herb. And I have three rare candies, too. <laughs> I, I would have been fine. I didn't need to do this, pal. Thanks for making me die to Sandstorm. Anyway, Rocker is back. There we go. And Rocker can now get his way through everything else. Now you gotta do is beat the Hydragon and you are through this challenge, Rocker. Nice! We beat Morgana, we got another 20 grand. Here comes Beedrill. There is Beedrill. Here is Delphox. And here is Venusaur. Beautiful. Alright, let's take a look at what we got then. So this is Beedrill. We've already seen Beedrill at the end of the last beta. Uh, we had... So this thing has Santum, Leech Life, Earth Power and U-Turn. And it's a grounded bug type. Then we have Delphox, which is an Ice Psychic type. Psychic Hail, Magic Room and Blizzard are on the moveset. You still have... You still have Wizardry. Cool. Okay, you still have Cursed Body, and this is Ghost James, my time temporal Venusaur. Your Ghost Poison type. You have Sludge Bomb, Sludge, uh, ga Poison Gas, and Shadow Ball. And there we go. That is everything. We've already seen Nine Tails. I'll show you Nine Tails again. And I guess I'll show you love a while again. And you deserve to have a full... You deserve that. You deserve to be picked up from where you were. Because you did amazing work. I will admit, you did amazing work trying to stay alive against that uh, Houndoom. You almost did it too. You actually put up quite a big fight against that Houndoom. Wasn't expecting how much of a fight he tried to put up. But anyway, that is where we can end today's episode off. Because I have done everything. Oh, you have Serene Grace. Cool. Did not realise what uh, Ninetales got, uh, was going to have that ability. But like, still, that's really cool. Alright, cool. We have all these Temporal Mons from the new beta. We caught all the Legendaries. We caught all of these. All these Temporal Mons we caught in the last beta, as well as uh, some of the Legendaries that we caught in the last beta as well. There's a lot of starters that we have. And a load of other mons, but we know what we know how they all evolve, so we don't need to worry about them. We know how they all evolve. And there's the rest of and there's our team. So that is everything we need to do from Pokemon Royal version. If you have enjoyed this video and this series, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite temporal mon is out of all of the temporal mons from the uh uh, from the entire game so far, let me know what your favourite is. For me, oh, that's asking a loaded question. I think, I mean, out of the new ones, I like Sceptile. 
I like Sceptile, I will admit, out of the new Mons, I like Sceptile, very, very much so. Sceptile is really... Uh, Sceptile is really cool, I will show you Sceptile uh, once again. So here's Sceptile, I really think this is rather... I think this is really, really cool. But also, I love Ninetales' design, I love... Del Fox looks amazing. Love a what? Uh, Summer what looks really cool. Blaziken is amazing. Uh, Ghost James looks awesome. And from the originals, uh, I would honestly don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, I tell, I tell you the truth, I think the one I like out of all the one is the one we've already got on the pit, uh, uh, on the party. Of course, that is Rocker. And of course, also shoutouts to Temporal Typhlosion, which is here. That's really cool as well. So, those are my favourites from the original, and of course the, uh, and of course the new update as well. Okie dokie, we are back. S well. For a little bit of after the bell, uh, because I realized after recording, I did not evolve Mudbray here. So, let's see. I have three rare candies here. So, let me see if Mudbray will evolve if I gave him one of these rare candies. Once to learn Destiny Bond. Don't really care about Destiny Bond. Yes, he will. He only needed a level. And there we go. There is Mudsdale. Look at that beautiful Pokemon. That is literally a horse of the apocalypse. Sure, you can have more. Not gonna give him these PP ups, but you can add the HP up. Right, let's take a look at this thing. It, it is a ghost type. Okay, it's level 50, loves to eat, has speed boost for the ability, there's its stats there. It has Bite, Ominous Wind, Heavy Slam, and Iron Defense. There we go. That is Temporal Mudsdale. It has suddenly started walking closer to me. Probably because he likes the fact that he's evolved and didn't have to die in order to do it. So much for the outtake that you guys will never see. Oh yeah, I'm in deposit. So, put it back in move, Joe. And there we go, that is all of the evolutions you can get in this version of the beta. We will be back with more versions of the beta if Jordan, rece if Jordan releases any more of this game, then I will be I will be there to cover it. I will be there to cover it because I am I am fully in love with this game. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I have uh, finished off all the temporal mons. I have caught all of the uh, Rift Pokemon and, and there we go But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like comment and subscribe the next series we will be doing is Pokemon S uh, Soray, I think it is Sorrel Sorrel. I think it's Sorrel and that will be starting uh, on Sunday So hopefully you enjoy us. Uh, you will join us for that uh, We might have more to do with Pokemon Royal version in the future I will keep up to date with it as much as I can I'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully Jordan will message me next time there's another beta and we will continue to play along with some more Pokemon Royal version. Till then, me to the Pokemon get to the Laza. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night! Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe where you'll get news, thoughts and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. 
You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe, and I will see you next time.